All right, what's going on, partners of Solace Ventures, LLC? You know, I wanted to give you guys an update of what's going on. And believe it or not, we have um, just completed, uh, as a company, the first quarter, our first quarter of existence. You know, we started this back in October. You know, that seemed like a long time ago, but it's only been three months, October, November, December. That's one, that's one quarter, guys. We've learned so much. So part of me is like, oh man, we kind of failed the initial plan. We we started out wanting to do Amazon FBA. So in that regard, we did fail. I kind of tripped up and got lost my focus. According to the original plan, um, we should be uh, contacting suppliers at this time and um, and ordering stuff figuring out UPC codes and all that we're not doing that you know that's still the holy grail guys Amazon FBA because Amazon will do all the work and we could be chilling on beaches and uh, running businesses um, at our leisure that's still like my dream but I wanted to share you know we let's focus on the positive guys in one quarter here's all we've accomplished we've learned um jungle scout at least ivan and me did um but yeah or you guys did too but um we learned that we found two to three products that are pretty good you know i think we could uh at any moment, I think we could enter the bedsheet market because there's billions of people out there. Everyone needs a bed. And uh, we have an awesome marketing idea with the bo uh, bo uh, boutique um, Italian bedsheets. So we still have that. We have the hot cocoa. And I believe if we all, you know, put our heads together, get the um, Jungle Scout again, I think we could find more and more products you know i have no with all the creativity um that we have as a team i'm not worried about finding more products once we're ready that's you know so that's one positive um you know we've learned a lot about amazon fba um we've taken a lot of courses so you know that's number one number two um our reselling division is thriving i'm happy to report i've pretty much made uh, my money back regarding the investment such as buying the all the um uh photography equipment um buying the mannequin uh which i'm probably gonna sell because i kind of got away from women's clothing because I just don't I'm not passionate about that and uh, there's a lot to learn and uh, anyways I, yeah, I might sell that um, but anyway yeah I've made my money back uh, I spent about a G like this was 250 bucks to build this workbench uh, work table um, I made my money back and then some um, I have uh, over 400 listings and counting um, I'm averaging 25 listings a day okay um, so it's thriving okay that's number two and so once it's gonna it's just gonna exponentially grow I'm learning a lot about fulfillment a lot about shipping the best practices um, the ins and outs how to reuse boxes see these boxes guys I order a ton of stuff uh, because you know, I got uh, free shipping with um, Amazon Prime and all that. Um, free shipping with uh, Sam's Club. So I try to buy, as, as long as it's a decent price, um, have it shipped to my house. Because so, I reuse those box. Each one of these boxes, guys, this big one right here, if I were to buy this at Home Depot or a comparable size, this would be like three, four, five bucks. So, you know, um, I'm learning all kinds of tricks. And I think it's good to learn... To be more versed and learn about fulfillment um, instead of just being strictly uh, FBA and all that. So I'm learning a lot. It's awesome. 
so that's uh positive number two this is all in one quarter guys um positive number three we have a blog uh technically we have a blog we have a media company um you know it's so i'm uh funding that on the cheap it's you know it's still you know still significant amount of money um you know i'm sp i'm spending 400 bucks a month uh thank god for biden's money is funding our media company and according to olivia we're getting about maybe two three hundred views a month you know and it's like the first month guys so imagine that if we can build up this blog expand more blogs then we have influencers in our pocket okay that's positive number three and again this is the first quarter guys positive number four we started a streetwear division um and i've brought um john uh can't remember his last name but uh olivia's john good guy talented guy um and you know and so we have we're re you're probably you guys already know this probably we're reselling um they're working on de designing the packaging right now um and we're gonna resell uh walkman and uh, nostalgic tapes cassette tapes um so yeah that's positive number four positive number five i created a website amazon uh or um avalos dot co um so i'm learning there's a lot to learn on how to create an e-commerce website it's a pain in the ass but uh but it's powerful that's what separates uh the chumps from the legit businesses having a real hosted website you know we're legit guys and but because of that um and so that's a big big positive um and so i'm like barely scratching the surface i need to uh work on our website more uh yeah so we have an avenue to sell our stuff if we can get to a point where we can sell on our own websites you know we're not um paying any fees we're not giving amazon a cut we're not giving um ebay a cut but we're we have to fulfill our stuff however eventually we could um contract fulfillment out um sell stuff through our website and maybe ha and still have amazon fulfill our stuff um there's all kinds of way to make money guys we just have to learn it and all that so that's positive number uh five we have a website and positive number six i am working like mad to get our reselling license in pennsylvania that's needed in order to um legally buy wholesale and sell at retail because um we need to be able to collect taxes for the state of pennsylvania so it's been a major pain in the ass getting this um license majorly and that's why i think people just give up but i'm not giving up i want that license that way we can buy quality stuff at wholesale and sell it at retail. We don't have to sh uh, juke and drive to find these deals. You know, you got these people on YouTube, they're juking and jiving and hustling and bustling. And I'm doing it too at the thrift stores or retail arbitrage. You know, a lot of that is luck and it takes hustling and bustling to find the deals find the clearance and it's getting competitive you know i went to walmart the other day to um look for uh clearance video games it's nothing there's nothing because you know people are catching on so uh we want to control our own destiny might as well buy at wholesale boom sell the products at retail you know retail that's you know that's what i'm looking forward to so what's going on now is i'm revamping my inventory space um 
so I, I'm, I'm shrinking down the studio uh, and making room. I bought four more shelves here. Um, you know, so I'm going to have three more rows of shelves over here. Um, and I'm reserving space for my wholesale items. So once I uh, get that license, I'm going to buy pallets of brand new stuff. I want to get into maybe um, deluxe action figures, collectible items. Because, <coughs> um, in my opinion, well, number one, I think they're cool and I'm passionate about it. You know, I'm not a collector by any means, but uh, it's interesting to buy. It's cool. And unlike clothes and stuff, <coughs> that stuff can go out of style. Whereas collectible uh, action figures, you know, they're, for the most part, um, you know, ha loving um, Star Wars or, or something, that doesn't go out of style. And that and that and that carries with you into adulthood, because you know, gen, uh, the millennials like like me, and uh, even even you Gen Z folks, uh, you still have the nostalgic um, uh, appreciation of the childhood things that you grew up Star Wars and Transformers and and things like that. So that's what I'm going to get. Um, pallets full of, you know, collectible items of cool stuff that I'm into. And I'm going to sell them. And so I'm making room here. Um, and then I, I, I found out a way to... Um, I'm going to staple um, closet shelves up here into these uh, floor beams. Um, that way I have more space to put um, inventory up there too. So I'm saving space, um, adding space for my wholesale stuff. And hopefully six months from now, I'm gen this isn't the plan. I'm generating, um, generating um, decent revenue. Who knows? But I'm going to, at that point, I can go to the bank. Hey, look at what I'm doing here. You know, give me 50 G's. Or something like that. And uh, and we're going to go into Amazon FBA, baby. And so, yeah. the You know, the dream's still there. It's alive. It's just we're kind of got sidetracked. But I want to let you guys know. Uh, Solace Ventures LLC is alive. And, um, and I'm going to need you guys eventually. So yeah, till then, uh, so this was a little quick update. Until then, do, keep doing what you're doing and provide uh, for yourselves and your families and, you know, dreams, um, our dreams will come true, I believe.